Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. Many people use amplifiers on outdoor antennas as a way to improve reception and fare to weak signal areas. However, there's a very common mistake most people make when setting up an amplifier on an antenna that will cause it to fail in a short period of time. What's the mistake? Stay tuned to find out. If you're a cord cutter or into antennas, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. My YouTube channel is dedicated to the cord cutting antenna community. I'm constantly posting new videos on reception tips, antenna reviews, and so much more. So there's a very common mistake many people make when setting up an amplifier on an antenna that will cause it to fail in a short period of time. Most times this happens with a preamp that goes up on an outdoor antenna, but can also happen if an antenna has a built-in amplifier. Here's a mistake. The long coaxial cable that goes from the preamp up at the antenna to the power inserter needs to have a solid copper center conductor. Many cheap cables from Walmart or cables that come with an antenna have either a copper clad steel, brass, or silver center conductor, little center thing, inside the cable. These types of metals don't always carry the correct voltage throughout the coaxial cable needed to power an amplifier. As a result, it can cause the amplifier to burn out over time. Most times when a preamp fails up at the antenna, you lose all reception, so it's very important to make sure you're using a quality RG6 quad shield cable with a solid copper center conductor with one. I include a link to some recommended RG6 quad shield coaxial cables with solid copper center conductors in the description of the video. Now, if you have an external preamp up at the antenna or an antenna with a built-in amplifier, it's also very important that you have a decent model. I see way too many people bargain hunting with antennas and other accessories. For example, the antenna with the built-in rotator and the on preamplifier from Walmart are known to fail within a short period of time, even with a decent coaxial cable connected. You can find a list of recommended antennas and amplifiers in the description of the video. Upgrading your current setup will likely improve your reception and may even bring you more channels. I also offer antenna recommendations specific to your area on my website at antennamanpa.com. For those of you who use a streaming service, check out the YouTube channel Michael Saves. Just like me, Michael is an independent YouTuber who focuses more on the streaming side of cord cutting rather than antennas, but he still has really good content. Click the card in the corner to subscribe or follow my link in the description of the video to his YouTube channel. So that's pretty much the video. Make sure you're using a quality RG6 quad shield cable with a solid copper center conductor. Please don't bargain hunt with antennas and other accessories. I never understood why people would easily pay thousands of dollars a year for cable and satellite services, but when it comes to the one investment that will free them from cable forever, they go cheap on it. Oh, a $50 antenna is too much, but $1,000 a year for cable, that's nothing. Trust me, investing in decent equipment now will save you a lot of headaches in the long run, especially if you're like that one person who a couple of months ago commented saying that he bought this antenna model three separate times, each time with the preamp failing before he realized, oh wow, I'm actually spending more money on junk that doesn't work. Let me just get a decent antenna setup. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attached a link in the description of the video. And you can always just tell your friends and relatives about my YouTube channel. After all, if you're enjoying a lifetime of free TV with a decent antenna setup, they should as well. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.